finding the greatest common factor of large numbers. And because the numbers are a little large, we may need our calculators. But to find the greatest common factors of large numbers, we need to divide by two, three, and five, essentially. Um, we can divide by other numbers, but we start with two, three, and five. So 84, we're gonna divide by two as many times as we can. So 84 divided by two is 42. 42 can be divided by two, and that'll give us 21. Now 21 cannot be divided by two, so we move on to three. So 21 divided by three gives us seven. Seven cannot be divided by three, and it cannot be divided by five, so we'll divide it by seven itself, and we get one. Once we get one, that is our stopping point. So our factors are two, two, three, and seven. So we write those down as two times two times three times seven. Now 102, we're gonna divide that by two, and that's gonna equal 51. Now 51 cannot be divided by two, it's a odd number, but we can divide it by three. So 51 divided by three gives us, let's see, this is gonna equal one and seven, so 17. 17 cannot be divided by two, three, or five, and it cannot be divided by any more numbers until you get the 17 itself, so we'll say 17 divided by 17 is one. And so that's our stopping point. So we have two, three, and 17. So let's write those down. Two times three times 17. Now, what do they have in common is two. They also have a three in common, and that's it. So the common numbers are two times three, which makes a six, which is our greatest common factor. Now 45 cannot be divided by two, but you can divide it by three. So we'll start there. So divided by three. Divided by three, 45 gives us one and five, 15. 15 can also be divided by three, which gives us five. Five cannot be divided by three, but it can be divided by five. So five divided by five gives us our one. And that's our stopping point. So we have three, three, and five. So let's write that down. Three times three times five, that makes 45. And 117, let's see, I definitely can't divide that by two, but I can divide this by three. So let's start dividing by three. So 117 divided by three, three goes into 11 three times. So this is gonna equal three, that's gonna leave 27 left over, which is nine. So we have 39. 39 can also be divided by three. That's gonna equal 13. 13 cannot be divided by two, three, or five. It can only be divided by another 13. So we'll put 13 down here, and that gives us one. So our factors are three, three, and 13. So let's write that down. Three times three times 13. And what do they have in common? these threes and these threes. And so the common factors are three times three, which makes nine, gives us nine as our greatest common factor. Okay, 84. 84 can be divided by two, and that will equal 42. 42 can be divided by two, which gives us 21. 21 is an odd number, cannot be divided by two, but it can be divided by three. So 21 divided by three gives us seven. Seven cannot be divided by three or five, but it can be divided by another seven that gives us one. So our factors are two, two, three, and seven. So let's write those down. Two times two times three times seven. 120 can be divided by two. This will equal 60. 60 also can be divided by two, and that will equal 30. 30 can be divided by two, and this will give us 15. 15 is an odd number, cannot be divided by two, but I can divide it by three. So 15 divided by three gives us five. Five cannot be divided by three, 
but it can be divided by 5. So let's divide it by 5, and we get 1. So our factors are 2, 2, 2, 3, and 5. So let's write those down. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Our common factors are 2 and 2, 2 and 2, 3 and 3. So your common factors will be 2 times 2 times 3, which is 4 times 3, which is 12. 12 is the greatest common factor for 84 and 120. Now, 75. 75 cannot be divided by 2, but it can be divided by 3. So 75 divided by 3 equals 25. 25 cannot be divided by 3, but it can be divided by 5. So it's divided by 5, and that will equal 5. And 5 can also be divided by 5, and that gives us our 1. So we can stop here. So our factors are 3, 5, and 5. Let's write that down. So this is 3 times 5 times 5. Now 100 can be divided by 2. That will equal 50. 50 can be divided by 2. And that will give us 25. 25 cannot be divided by 2. It's an odd number. Cannot be divided by 3. So we'll divide it by 5. So 25 divided by 5 equals 5. And 5 can be divided by 5, and that gives us 1. So our factors are 2, 2, 5, and 5. So let's write that down. 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Now let's find out what's common. The 5 here is common to this 5. The 5 here is common to this 5. So our common numbers are 5 times 5, which equals 25, and this is our greatest common factor.